here on Youth Wednesday's Tobago Update. We'll be continuing on with our Valentine's Day talks, of course. We'll be joined with past president of the Rotary Club of Trinidad and Tobago, Miss Annette Lewis Williams. Right, let's welcome Miss Williams to the show. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Lewis. We seem to be having some technical difficulties. Good morning. Morning. So, while you're ready to speak to us about an exciting event upcoming, um, I'll just tell you a little bit of what we'll be speaking about. So, they're having a Valentine's Day dinner, the Rotary Club. It's their annual Valentine's Day dinner. Um, if you have, if you were wondering what you should get for that special someone being family members or friends you would need no you don't need to look any further right because now we have a valentine's day dinner from the rotary club of trinidad and tobago hosted by the past president and president current of the rotary club right so miss mrs lewis are you hello good morning good morning miss lewis hey. all right so we'll get straight into it miss lewis could you tell us a little bit about this initiative? When did it start? What what brought it about? All right. So the Rotary Club of Southwest Tobago, or in general, Rotary Clubs, what we normally do, we give back to the community in different ways. So for the Rotary Club of Southwest Tobago, we have major product, projects that we conduct every year. And we have the Diabetes Project, where we do assist in the testing of people within the community we have a hamper drive which we do in, in conjunction with our interact club which is our baby club and we have our back to school initiative where we give out um school books stationery for students going back to school both at pre well it's the first year we started the pre um we but we normally do primary and we will do secondary school so this is done in august for the back to school in september so when we host our valentine dinner which is one of our um projects that we do we would the, the funds we obtain from this dinner it assists us in doing our projects going forward all right so what what was it like last year and before we continue let me just welcome your current president miss Anne marie davis on to the show as well good morning miss davis All right, we seem to be having technical difficulties once again. So we'll continue with Mrs. Williams. So you can go ahead. What was it like last day? And could you remember, you know, how it was like the ambience? Do you remember how much was raised? What what did the funds, what were you able to accomplish right. from the fundraiser? All right, so we didn't have a, a diabetes. We didn't, sorry, we didn't have a Valentine's dinner last year. Um, and that was because we were coming out of COVID and then we didn't have one for the past um, two years prior to that because of the COVID situation. So this is basically our first Valentine's dinner um, post-COVID. All right. So, so okay. we're hoping to have a bumper um, session tonight, a bumper dinner tonight could we expect anything new you mentioned that you all did have the valentine's dinners before covid so based on that do we expect anything new tonight do we expect new performances new artists that because i saw dance and entertainment on the flyer itself um so well we more than we more okay so we will have more giveaways than we normally have um, we're going to, and that includes about five door prizes. We, for the first time, we're going to be auctioning a painting. And this is from a renowned artist right here in Tobago. So basically, do, and we also have live entertainment, which we would normally have. So we also having live entertainment. So we can't we can't get a sneak peek of who would be performing tonight. We'll just have to come and. No, we're going to, we're going to keep that a secret. 
<laughs> All right, then no problem. Okay, so could you give us some details on what on what I should yeah. do, right? How, how do I get prepared? What time should I be there? Where do I go? How much do I have to pay to get in the door? Give us some details. All right, so, so the dinner starts at 7.30. The location is at Sheppey's Inn on the Stobay Local Road. The cost is $300 per person. And it's not too late um, to get your tickets. We, have, we are using e-tickets and you can call, there's two numbers that you can call. You can call 769-0299 and that is the current president, Miss Anne-Marie Davis. And you can also call 7081968, that is my number. So, you know, we take in right up until 730. We take in, we would be able to, we would be selling tickets. Okay, so tickets are sold up until 7.30 p.m. Is it possible to pay yes. the door? Because, you know, some couples... You can pay at the door. Yeah. So if on the spot the moment you decide at 7.30 you want to come, feel free to come down. And these people will be included in the door prize given? Of course they would be. Okay. Because once you... Okay, so how it operates when you come to the function, we give you a number, and that is your number that you will hold on to, to the end of the, the dinner. So you may be lucky to win a door prize and it's, it's very nice prizes. So we're encouraging everybody to come down to Sheppey's Inn. You can give us a call. The numbers are 769-0299 or 7081968. Uh, and you can, we would send you the tickets. Just in case I want to win that best dress prize, do I dress to come to this event? Well, we know Valentine's is basically red. So we're hoping that people flood the place in red. <laughs> so red for Valentine's. Yes, yes. So we, 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 but you can wear anything, eh? But, you know, we know red is related to Valentine's. Okay. So will there be any special dishes or anything like that? Uh, yeah, but we we holding the, the menu close to us, but we catering for everybody. We catering for the fish lovers. We catering for the chicken lovers. We catering for the veggie lovers. So we catering for everybody. All right. Just before we finish off our interview for this morning, we know that the Valentine's Day dinner is something very special to you all. It's the annual event. But is there anything upcoming for the Rotary Club and also? Um, that we have to pay to come in right just would you let the public know if it is open to them or is it a targeted group and then you can give us the initiatives for the rotary club for the rest of the year um and you're talking about the dinner no i'm speaking about the rotary club would have for the rest of the year do you have any okay outlined? so okay so we have adopted the black rock primary school so we visit that school very often um we read to the youngsters we in, we engage them um on a monthly basis right so we, we interact with those children so and they really we really have a good time with them okay so so but in addition to that now rotary is open to anybody so you just make a contact with us and you would be invited to our meetings so you would see what it is like how we hold our meetings um there are also educational sessions during the meeting we also have socials it's part of the meetings per month so they any, they can call the number 7690299 or 7081968 at the moment we do the meetings virtually but we have uh, our club um, operates out of the Glen, out of Glen Road. That is Tam Building in Glen Road. All right then. Thank you very much, Mrs. Lewis, for joining us and telling us about the annual Valentine's Day dinner that the Rotary Club will be hosting tonight at seven thirty at Shepherd's Inn. It's only three hundred dollars. That's for both.
people or the couple? Yes. No, the 300 per person. Per person. So that's 300 yes, per person. Yes, and the menu is a three-course menu, so you're getting everything. As I said, we cater for everybody. The fish lovers, the chicken lovers, the veggie lovers. So just come on down to Sheppy's Inn at 7.30 this afternoon. So that's only $300 to have a three-course meal. A great deal. I hope that you all are encouraged to join the Rotary Club tonight for their Valentine's Day dinner at Shepherd's Inn at 7.30 tonight. For those of you just joining us, this was Mrs. Lewis, part of the Rotary Club. Thank you for joining us, Mrs. Lewis, and I encourage our viewers to share the live, share the live, share the live. Thank you.